Hey my friend, let's move cells around our tail view. This is incredibly helpful when you have an app like a to-do app that you have you go on to reorganize or reorder the to-dos or the calendar or the post or any kind of things that you want to move the tail view sounds around. Incredible. And a lot of coding interviews people will ask you about this too. So I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. Let's get ahead into our demo immediately. All right, my friend, open up your Xcode and let's move some cells around your tail view. Here is how the app will look like after this training. We have the tail view like this. We can move it around like that. It's just simple, right? Up like this. Okay, and we can move it around. We can reorder even if like in from one section to another section like that. See that? Pretty cool, huh? We can just move from one section to another section like this. Okay. Let's do this. So open up your Xcode. Now, how can we do that? <laughs> how can we do that? So there are two things that we have to do, of course, right? There are two or three things that we have to do. Number one, let's, uh, let's put it over here. So here, we want to move rows, move rows around table view. So number one, what we want to do is we have to tell the table view that you want to be able to move rows around. And number two, you have to tell the tail view that how is the, um, or actually number two, you have to update the data structure of the data model, meaning that actually you have to, you have to update the data model, meaning that if you move from one product to another product, I'm sorry, you move from one uh, product line to another product line, you have to update that in your data, right? So, so just imagine that the tail view, all it does is UI wise, it displays a bunch of data in our data into the tail view format. So what we have to do is, do move from one line to another line or move uh, within an array of products but different indexes right so we move from here to there make sense so we have the updated model plus we have to update the table view ui like that so let's do this number one tell the table view that you want to move around the rows so i'm going to have another comment below here um, moving cells Around. So number one, we want to tell the tail view that hey, tail view, and it has a method called can move row at the index path. Can move the row at index path. So here we want to return true because we want to move all the rows, right? We can, we want to be able to move all the rows. All right. Number two, we want to update the data, and we want to update the. Um, why is that our uh, our tail view? So here is a helper method that UI tail view controller built in. We have tail view move row at uh, what's that move row at source index path to destination index path, and you will see that tells the data source to move a row at a specific location in the tail view to another location. See that the location simply is a index path. And then here you have to override this. Cool. Remember this override. Okay. So here, what I want to do is number one, let the product to move. I want to find the product that we want to move around at this source index path. Okay. The source index path is the index path of the product here that we want to move around. And then the destination index path is actually the index path of the product that we move it at, like this. We'll release it, then that is the index path, the destination index path. Okay, so the product to move is equals to product line subscript source index path dot section, right? Source index path dot section dot product. And then we do subscript source index path dot row like that right and then now what we want to do is we want to move the product to move to the uh, to the destination product array 
right? So, so we have this product and we want to move it to the destination index path. So here, what you want to do. Now, this is all your data source, right? So product lines, subscript, destination, destination index path dot section. So that we have that product line dot products. And then we dot insert. We have to insert this new product to move into that product of the product line, right? So we insert a new element at the index path. Right, so the new element is product to move at the index path is destination index path dot row like this. Okay, so we update it. Now, is it done here? Yeah, it's not done because we still have the product to move at this point, right? So all we have to do now is we have to delete the product to move from the uh, source products all right so here what we do is product lines subscript source index path dot section dot product dot remove at I right? remove at and here is source index path oops source index path dot row like this and that is how you move cells around this is like free to use this is free to use all you have to do is change your data source so in your app whether it is like a, t a um, table view of to do or a table view of items that you want to move around then all you have to do is move around and update your database cool so now let's run the app and see what it looks like here we go we have our Apple Store. Now, <laughs> click into the edit, and we have this guy. And then we can move it around like this. Or let's do this: move the f a 13 inch over to iDevices, even not even if it's not. And then we have over here: move it up, whatever you want to do. Right? That is awesome. All right, so that is how you move cells around your tail view. It's quite simple, isn't it? I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. And remember that the process of delete cells, move cells around, or add new cells into your tail view, there are actually just two or three steps. Number one, you have to reorder that or remove that cells or add that cells into your data source, right? The data of your app. Number two, you have to update the tail view. Just that simple, two steps. The number one is the data inside the app. Number two is the UI of the app. So I hope that you enjoy this lesson. In the next one, we talk about set up your tail view static cells, static tail view cells. That is what we'll talk about in the next lesson. And before we go to the next one, uh, I want to answer one question that a lot of you ask about uh, tail, I'm sorry, total RS blueprint. Is it an online course? Yes, it is an online course just like these and but it is so much more advanced and it has because we take we have a lot more time in the course. You have my chat roles, you can ask me any questions in the comment sections. You have hundreds of world-class developers that supporting you and you have all the tutorials, all the resources, all the code challenges in all of my video tutorials just like these even more advanced and we'll go deeper into more complex applications like how we can create a foursquare api app how we can create a weather app how we can create json and race api apps all of those concepts will talk even more advanced concepts in total ice blueprint so i hope that you join us in um, total ice blueprint someday if you want to join us i believe that at this time we have a special discount for you as a subscriber so please check it out it's a one time off only so there will be a button on this page or somewhere i don't know but check it out click button and see the program if it fits you great join us because how much of developers go through the programs and their own tells that it's the most amazing program yet and if you don't think it's the most amazing program just ask for money back we are going to happily return refund all of your money we don't want your money if you are not transformed your skills your 
development, your growth. That is my guarantee for you. If you don't love the program, ask for money back. That's okay. No foul, no hustle. So let's get ahead into the next lesson. We talk about set up your static tail view. So let's go ahead to the next one.